Hello everybody, my name is Janie, and today I'm painting with coffee. Now, I invite you to paint along with me, uh, and kind of waste some time here during this quarantine. Uh, so I have two different coffee mixtures that I'm going to be painting with. The first I made super thick. I basically put, I mean, it must have been a cup of coffee grounds, and maybe like three-fourths cups of hot water, and I let that steep for about ten minutes. My goal was to get the darkest color I possibly could from a medium roast. Dunkin Donuts coffee. Now if you happen to have espresso, you're gonna get a lot darker colors than I did, um, and it might come out looking a lot better. Um, but that's what I got. It was a sludge, and then of course I strained that out. My second mix was just a normal coffee. I didn't really do anything special, and I'm using that as a wash, which means I'm just putting a light layer of paint down, and I just add more layers on top of that to make it darker. Okay, so my sketch that I have here, uh, it is available to use. You guys can go ahead and have that. I used a reference picture. I just looked at a picture of a really hot woman drinking coffee, uh, and that made it go by a little bit faster because this is just a sketchbook painting. Uh, and the paper I'm using, if you're interested, it's Blick Premier 140 pound watercolor paper, and I made a sketchbook myself. Um, you can use any paper you want. If you have watercolor paper, definitely use it. But if you are saying, hey, Janie, we're not made of money over here. I have typing paper. Go ahead and use that. I have never used it before for watercolor, but I'm sure it's gonna work. I would just say that in between painting layers, you're gonna take a blow dryer and make sure that is extremely dry before you add your next layers on. And that's because that paper, when it gets wet, is going to want to tear. Okay, so with all of that, let's go ahead and get started. So when we get to the actual painting part, we're not going to be too rigid here. Uh, the coffee's just going to do what it wants for the most part. Honestly, coffee's done a lot for us. Let's go ahead and give back. Uh, I am going to be using something called the pooling technique here. So as you can see, I've dropped some of that color into the darker spots of this face. So the corner of the eye and the cheeks and under the nose. Um, and then instead of just, you know, putting a bunch more color all over the paper, you're just going to take your paintbrush and you're going to pull that particular paint outwards and you're going to color the, the other spots with that same paint. Um, you know, it just gives it a little more depth, okay? Not all the color is going to be the same value throughout. Uh, and while it's still wet, I'm dropping in more color into the darker areas. So it's going to run where it wants to, it's going to look a little messy, you're going to say, Janie, what the heck, I thought that I was coming here for this rigid, uniform, structured piece. No, we're not going to do that, okay? This is fun. This is coffee, it's watercolor, it's wasting some time, so let's go ahead and let it get messy. Alright, so the thing that you didn't see me do because I cut it out to save time is I took a blow dryer and I blow dried both sides of this paper completely. We don't want any unwanted textures or any unwanted little um, movements, okay? So now that it's dry, I'm doing the exact same thing I did before. I'm dropping in even more coffee into the darkest areas of the picture. Now this is called building up. And it's what we have to do with watercolor because it's such a translucent paint and because you can't really drop in white watercolor afterwards, okay? It doesn't give you the effect that acrylic does or oil does. So with acrylic or oil, you start with the darkest areas and you build up to your lightest areas, right? You add that white paint. With watercolor, it's the exact opposite. You're going to start with your lightest areas. You'll notice on the face we left some beautiful white areas. Those are the highlights where that light is hitting her the most. And we are starting to build up the darker areas of paint, okay? And if you're using this coffee the way I'm using it, you're gonna see exactly why that's necessary.
All right, so again, I've completely dried both sides of this paper. I've taken my blow dryer and I've spent the time to make sure that there are no wet spots. Uh, and now I can go in and I can really start to detail. So I'm taking that dark sludge paint and I am putting it into the darkest parts of her hair and the darkest parts of the cup. I'm also taking a flat brush, uh, and I happen to have that lying around. If you don't have a flat brush, you can use your other brush, whatever you're using, whatever you have on hand, and put a light coffee wash all the way around her, and that's gonna give some sort of indication that she's in a space and not just flat on your paper. And then I started to have fun with it, okay? Start dropping in darker paint into the corners and give her a little vignette. Take that really dark paint and splash some little spots onto that background. And then go crazy. Put some coffee grounds on that. Some of those coffee grounds are going to start to soak up a little bit of the coffee, and it's going to give you a certain texture. There are no rules for this, um, and there's really no technique for this. Just have fun, create texture, and, uh, you know, put her in a world. Okay, and here you can finally see me using that blow dryer for the very last time. Make sure it's completely dry. Um, and then you can take a black colored pencil like I did here, and you can really fill in even darker lines and details, especially on her eyelashes. Now, I don't know if I would have taken this step had I had darker coffee. So if you have espresso, again, I think this is gonna work a little bit better and it'll make you feel a little bit more authentic, but we work with what we have. We're not exactly running out to the store right now to go get dark coffees. And there we have it. We have a sketchbook painting with coffee. This painting smells amazing, but honestly, I'm a little sick from coffee. So my next video will probably be with something different, maybe painting with wine because, you know, I drink that about as much as I drink coffee. Uh, and if you have any other suggestions of what else we can paint with, hey, let me hear them. I would love to try new things. Um, you can follow me at Janie Illustration. Um, and I hope this was useful to you. Good luck with your quarantine, everybody. We're in this together, while very far apart. <laughs>